As many of you know, uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, joining us from the Canadian Cancer Society, their regional director, Mary Hobbs. Great to have you here on the show. And there's always wonderful events that, uh, that build over the course of the month, uh, different third-party fundraisers. And there's been a really interesting one going on right now with alphabet photography, uh, which we've had them on the show, beautiful items, and it's, uh, it's been a good partnership for you. It certainly has. It's, uh, it's just great. Um, this year, um, Alphabet has created a series of six beautiful, inspirational floating mount messages with their very unique um, uh, way of, um, you know, uh, spelling words through mm -hmm. uh, individual pictures of, of letters found all over the place in nature and uh, in architecture and so on. Um, and uh, these are being... Um, uh, offered to uh, for sale and $30 from each of the um, uh, ones that's purchased is coming to the Canadian Cancer Society to support breast cancer awareness. Uh, it's really wonderful to see uh, the images that they're able to capture but the wording is the essential part too because it's these words that really um, have a deep impact on the special on the families and especially those that are going through cancer at the mm -hmm. moment. I think they've chosen uh, well they're they're very inspirational so there, there's a word such as strength or courage or hope uh, or love and and then, then an appropriate quote underneath on the plaque. We're actually going to see some examples uh, right now uh, coming through. Uh, you, you need to understand too how they are able to capture these uh, you know finding letters they travel all around the world uh, to be able to capture photographs like this and so great um, messages underneath there as well. Oh that one's life. Mm -hmm. First one was courage, life, love. Yeah. They're beautiful. Now, you know, this is a wonderful way to raise money and funds, but really the key is still about awareness, and that for you is the critical message. It absolutely is. Um, at the Canadian Cancer Society, of course, we support all cancers, including breast cancer, and uh, we fight back against breast cancer by um, funding wonderful research, which we do with the funds raised uh, from various uh, partnerships and donations like the one we have with Alphabet mm -hmm. uh, and uh, many of our other wonderful corporate partners that help us in breast cancer. People like uh, Golf Canada and Laura Canada who are also doing things this month for breast cancer awareness. Uh, the numbers though still frighten, uh, you know, it's still a little scary for when you ask women do they know when they need to be treated? Do they know when they need to head in to have uh, examinations done? And that is also the message that you want to get out. Yes, it is. We did a poll recently which shows that there's still considerable confusion among women about the best way to detect breast cancer early, uh, which is to have a mammogram when you're the appropriate age. So what we really want women of any age to know is it's important to know what is normal for your body and to report any changes to your health care provider. Okay, so what is, the, what is the average age of a healthy you know, woman without a history of breast cancer to be able to start getting these mammograms? Um, in Ontario, uh, it's recommended that women have a mammogram every two years if they're between 50 and 69. If you're younger than that, you should talk to your health care provider about your risk and the risks and benefits of mammography at a younger age for you. And if you're older than that, again, you should talk to your doctor about how frequently you might have a mammogram. You have a little device. It's something we that we have seen on the show, but I yeah. want to remind people about yeah. it. Uh, and this is a really a visual reminder. It is. It's a, it's, we call it the thingamaboo. Mm -hmm. And um, it has four beads on this little keychain. And the smallest one here you probably can't even see on camera, but it's about the size of a sesame seed. And this is the size of a tumor, a breast cancer tumor, that would be found by, in someone having regular mammograms, as we described earlier. Uh, the second um, size, which is about the size of a green pea, I guess, um, is uh, uh, the type of tumor that would be uh, average uh, found on your first mammogram. And the other two are the sizes of lumps, and they're considerably larger, as you can mm -hmm. see are those that are typically found by people who are uh, just on their own, either regularly examining themselves or um, just, you know, sort of by chance examining oneself. It is remarkable mm -hmm. when you see the incredibly tiny little sesame bead, that, uh, the size yeah. of the sesame seed that is able to be picked up. Uh, and just imagine just mm -hmm. how much 
easier likely treatment and uh, you know getting to that and, and better outcome it is when you're looking at an incredibly small small tumor right there yep, that's uh, right. interesting information of course keep in mind we are bringing you as much information over the course of the uh, breast cancer awareness month uh, cancer.ca for more information especially with the Canadian Cancer Society cancer.ca and if you have the opportunity beautiful photography with alphabet photography uh, you can check out their website alphabetphotography.com uh, to purchase one of these beautiful uh, beautiful kind of pictures that de depending on the word that you're looking for and know that money is going to be going back to the cancer society great to have you on the show thank you so much thank you for having